There's another storm coming. Just our luck. Bam! What's happening? Here he comes. Here he comes. Right into the net. Oh, that's a big one. Yes! I can already tell you that this is going to be a good video because Captain Dan is coming. It's been raining all morning and it just stopped. The sunshine is coming out. We'll probably still get rained on, but yes. We're going fishing on my boat. So we're gonna be hopping on my boat. I'm just waiting for Dan to get here. Come on, Dan, where are you at? I'm gonna start loading the rods on the boat, which brings me, I got something exciting to show y'all. We're gonna keep today very simple. We're gonna go out and do some patchery fishing and hopefully get a big mutton. I got my cast net laid out. I'm bringing that. Maybe I got better at throwing my cast net. I have been practicing a lot. Or maybe I'm just gonna throw a banana. Look what else I got. Ta-da! These are the new South Florida Fishing Channel yellowtail hooks. Weighted yellowtail hooks. Here we go. We finally got a CNC machine so we can cut out our own molds. We currently have them in chartreuse and white. If we were to make a third color, what, what color would you guys want? Leave a comment below. We'll get it done. All right, we got Dan on the boat. Here we go. Hatchery fishing like the old days. That's it. We're going back to basics. Yeah, back to the basics. We got couple blocks of chum we got a box of thread herring freaking love the thread herring and we just got some light action rods we're gonna go to the patch reefs and we also got one other bait we're bringing live I'm gonna go grab them right now you want to see this live bait I've been feeding them well oh my god you sure have all this shit. yeah I'm gonna turn that aerator on and we'll get some live Beautiful. blue cloths Look, I think he's got food though. Oh yeah, he's still eating it. You see him in there? He was like, oh, one last bite. I wasn't cut out for this life. All right, after some heavy duty battling, we got the little guy. I definitely feel like we're missing something, but I think it's time to... I got my tackle box, I got my rods. We got fuel, we got oil, bait, hooks. Gaff, net, valley hoop net. We're good to go. Oh, Yeehaw. Away we go. One day I'm gonna fall in kicking off the duck. Mother of all dragons. We're turning around. Dan forgot something. Ah. And there you are. You were like, I know we forgot something. We forgot something. We forgot we something. We forgot something. And I'm looking at you, looking at your phone, and I'm going, wait a minute. Well, now when we catch a big fish today, we'll just think if we hadn't gone back for the phone, our bait wouldn't have been in front of him in that moment. That moment. Thanks for putting us on the big one today, Dan. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Anything for you, man. We're so close. We're back at the dock. Dan's getting his phone. And he's back. <gasps> you got the phone. Through the anchor, see if we can get some bait in the bay. Bait in the bay. All right, if if we catch a, uh, if we already catch bait, I might have to open a beer. I'm right there with it. Here you go. Send down the sabiki. You know, I do have shrimp. That's how you get the pilchards, or I mean the um the what are they called? Pinfish. With yeah, a little, sh a little yeah. shrimp on a sabiki. Yeah. This might catch snapper. I'm hoping that we get a pinfish out of this. Wow, there's a lot of... How many hooks are on here? All right, send it down. Shrimp. Sh sabiki rig juiced up with shrimp. Yeah, what are they? Woo, bring them on in. <gasps> Pinfish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude. Damn. Those are good baits. Um, I got a D hooker. Damn. I'll hold it tight so it don't get tangled. Oh my God. That is mutton. Freak. That's serious mutton. Wow! Right yeah, yeah, they'll hit that. 
Is that a pilchard on there? Woo! Pinfish. I love the pinfish. I see hooking guns now. Yeah! I might have to throw the net on these guys. See them all? Oh, Dan, I'm going to throw my net on this. It's good for a tuna. Imagine we were you. I love wintertime. The wintertime is, oh, I love the wintertime fishing. Damn, we got our live wells filled up to the top. Check it out. Woo! Probably a hundred pilchards, probably like a good 20 or a couple dozen big pinfish. We got those blue claws. And uh, now we're gonna head out to the Key Largo Patch Reefs. We'll probably be in pretty shallow water. And since we got bait, I think it's time for me to have a beer too. You can't <laughs> argue with that. chum bag got the chum bag out all right we're out here on the patch trees we got a uh, a chum bag out and we're kind of just idling around going like two miles an hour we're just driving between all these patch trees kind of creating a chum slake and then when we see some fish getting behind the boat we'll toss the anchor and that's all there is to it <laughs> easy peasy hopefully there's some fish out here it's a little windy but a little rainy it's all good. Drop it right here. Perfect. We threw the anchor. There's a patch reef over there. So our chum should go right over the patch reef and bring the big fish right to us. Turn the engine off. Oh, by the way, Dan, our newest invention. They're weighted yellowtail hooks. Super sharp hooks. Like that might be good with a live pilchard. It'll, it'll kind of go to the bottom. But if you want to try one, Okay. There's two bags of them. Or like a little chunk, like a snapper with this. Oh, a snapper with chunks. Are you going to do that? One of my rods, yeah. I'm going to put one on my super light action rod. And then I'm going to put a big, like, knocker rig on my bigger rod. I got one and a half ounce knocker rigs. Yeah, this looks better. I got a two ounce snapper rig. Is that a knocker rig also? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh! These new yellowtail hooks—they want the fish so bad they try to jump off the the boat. Okay, guys, what time it is for you guys? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, what do I want? I got the big pilchard. Look at that. That's it. Go and do it. Big pilchard on this yellowtail hook. Oh man, I don't. Need, I'm gonna hook him right in the stomach. I think. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, here we go. First cast. Oh, I can feel my pilchard freaking out. He's going crazy. Yeah. Oh, you just have free liner. Free liner? Yeah. Well, he's got that weighted hook on him, That's so it's probably keeping him kind of near the bottom. Live chumming. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, trying. That looks good like that, man. Look at him go. Oh, that bird just ate my bait. No bait yet, or no, no, no hits yet. A little worried. Fish is all the way over there. He's swimming good. Might have to move spots if we don't get a hit in like the next 10 minutes or so. Come on, mutton. Yeah, I'm throwing out a blue claw. All right, blue claw going out. Is that what they want? I don't know. Uh... 
had a hit. I think I. Oh wait, I got your line. All right. All right I'm a I, a sh me too. I got a shrimp on the patch. Like not even a grunt eating it. Come on. Definitely might have to move spots here. In the end. Oh, a little man of war, a little baby one. Ah, a shrimp. I just got a. Oh man, he rocked me. He rocked me, man. I'm gonna give him some slack. Maybe he'll want to come out. Oh, I, I got the. Ah, uh, he's not on it anymore. It's gonna get a little wet here. You want to pull anchor? Moving destinations! That red looks like it's already clearing up a little bit. Alright, uh, yeah, drop it on down! Alright, anchor is down, attempt number two. That rain's about to hit us. <laughs> Doing what we do best. Here we are again. Yeah. Look at that. We're still fishing though. Still fishing. I got a fish. I got a fish. A grunt. A grunt. Today for a we'll take the Your favorite fish, Dan. Today's a good day for a grunt. I'll even take a marathon. Hey, that's a. Uh, he's a. It's actually a good sized grunt. He had like 30 yellowtail follow him up to the boat. But they're all small. We're really close to a spot where it goes from 15 feet to 40 feet. We'll go there right after this. I just, you know. I like to try new spots. I got a fish! Oh, oh, he got off! It was a yellow, little yellow tail. Oh, I got another one. I got another one! Hey, the yellow tail hook works. He's a little small, but uh. It's a good sign. Bam! Oh, damn. That fish tricked me. Boom! Hey, oh, oh, this one feels kind of okay. Woo! Hey! Hey, they're getting fatter. Right? They only gotta be 12 inches. Wow. I'm gonna let him go. We want, oh! Like I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Arr! Oh! That one. Something small. Grunt. Little grunt. Little baby grunt! Woo! What happened to fish today? They love a little shrimp on the yellowtail hook. I'll send that bait right back out. Watch how fast this thing gets slammed. Oh, again! Woo, yellow tail! Ow! Yeah, these are just a bunch of little small fish here. Maybe the fish are just in deeper water. Yep. Almost there. You can see where the edge is, it gets dark over there. Woo! Couple of decent little waves out here. Good day, man. In 8, 10, 15 feet of water, we tried a couple patch reef spots. We just couldn't get the bite turned on, so we headed a little further offshore. We are now in 34 feet of water, and look at what we're marking down here. Don't forget to tell them how nice the weather is. Yeah, the weather is beautiful. We're marking fish. 
We're in a little bit of deeper water now near the reef's edge. Let's see if this works. I got a dead pinfish. Bring me the food! Hey, we got a frigate behind us. All right, I'm live chumming. <laughs> now, now we're fishing. Whoa, something ate this guy's head off. Hey, Bray, that, if that doesn't get eaten, then I don't know, I don't know what, what'll get eaten. Good. Look how perfect this guy is. Sending down the live belly who on a knocker rig. Yeah! Dan's on, Dan's on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the net. On the live belly who? Oh, yeah. Okay. There are no stinking pinfish. Wow. Look at that. First cast, first drop, done. Easy ah. peasy. All right. That's a little red grouper. I'm so happy that the bait is working. Yeah. Look at that. I don't think he's 20, but I think he's just happy to happy to be here with us. Yeah. All right, I'm going to chuck him back. All what right. you want? Do you want him? Nope. Put him on back. Off you go, buddy. Go get, go get bigger and bigger. Go get, your, go get another one. That was good. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, now they, we're in. Yep, they want the live ballyhoo. They want the ballyhoo. We gave them everything. We gave them crabs, shrimp, pilchards, herring. They want the ballyhoo. You gotta match the hatch. That's the deal. What, what do you gotta do? Match the hatch. You gotta match the hatch out here, man. That's it. <laughs> we know better. We just thought we knew better. Yeah, we knew better. But we know better now. Oh yeah, we got a big fish on. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh, this is a big mutt. I'm You think a big mutt? I'm going out on a big mutt. If you want to go that way, I'll yeah. get him. Yeah, there's the net. He's actually swimming up towards you. Come on. No color yet. I think it is a big one. It is a one. Woo! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get him over here. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Dude! Yeah! Oh yeah, he's a keeper. Oh yeah, nice job, man. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, we got some bait, though. Dude, the, the moment we switched our bait, bam, bam! Imagine what else is down there. Sweet, I got him on my rig too. That's a, I, I always like doing that. Just put a mutton on the boat. My GoPro is out of battery, so I have no idea if I was able to record that or not. But in case I didn't catch it. Here it is. Woo! Mmm. All right, send down another ballyhoo on a knocker rig. Take two. Oh, I got some. It feels all right. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, yellowtail, nice tail. on the yellowtail hook, the perfect combo. The Winkler brothers will be eating fish tonight. Yeah, he's good. He's a 13 incher going in the box. I was actually hoping that if I could catch enough fish, 
but it's not really looking like it. But I was gonna bring some to Utah tomorrow on the plane. Oh, you're leaving tomorrow, huh? Yeah. The yellow tailor behind the boat. Something's messing with it. Oh, Calabungi! I got me another snapper. Look at that hook in there. Oh, I even got my bait back. There's another storm coming. Just our luck. Woo! I got another yellow tail. Ha! <laughs> the yellow tail. I got my bait back again. Two yellow tail and one bait. Oh, I just had a big fish. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I got another one. Just the yellow tail, bud. Yeehaw! I got my bait back again. Whoa! That's three fish on one bait. Holy smokes. There's a storm coming. Ah! Oh! Oh, I had a fish. Like back in the day. There's a storm coming. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Big yes! Big fish! Butterfly belly hoo. All right, I see him. I'll flip him in. Oh! There you go. There we go. Nice little grouper. Do you think it's the same one you caught? No. Yeah. Mine had blood in the corner of his mouth. All right, I'm throwing him back. Yep. Woo! He's off. Oh man, something had my whole belly hoo in its mouth. No, but all his scales are ripped off. Oh, oh, I'm on. Feels like a mutton. Feels like a big mutton. Uh. Yeah! Sure hope so. Feels good. Come on, be a mutton, be a mutton. Okay, here he comes. Oh, yeah, it's a big mutton. Here he comes, right into the net. Boom, that's a big one, yes. Holy smokes. Oh. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. oh yes. Nice. Fish. Oh, on a butterfly belly who on a knocker rig. He's a pretty one. Oh, that is a nice freaking fish. They're right under the boat. I caught him directly under the I just dropped my bait straight down. Excellent. Yeah. Might be storming. Might be raining a little bit. But we got big old fish on the deck. Yeah. I knew he was a mutton the moment he hit. Whoa! He makes the other one look tiny. Come on, you're on. That looks like a mutton. He's gone. Damn. This is killing oh. me, buddy. Literally, as soon as I got to the bottom, I got thumped. I think he's still messing with my bait. Oh, it ate it ate everything. I just got the head back. Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh boy! Oh! It feels like another button! <laughs> Oh no! What's happening? 
I think I know what happened. Go around the bow or the back. Just fight them on the other side. Go around the... Can you go around the engine? No, hold on. It's... I'm going to keep them low. I'm going to get my rod right up. Go Caught on the engine, crap. I lost it. Oh, I bet that was a big mud and I got sharked. Oh, what was that? Coming clean off. If he's legal, yeah, I'll take him. Woo, mo meat mo better. Yeah, he's he looks he's a fat one. We might have to leave soon. It's getting dark. Damn it! I hate leaving when the bite is on fire. Oh. Oh. Got off. He got off. Damn, that was a big one. My GoPro ran out of battery. The sun is going down, and another storm is about to hit us, so it's probably a good time to call it a day. We're gonna head back to shore now and... And go, we'll, and go right into a storm. No, the yeah, back. yeah, we're going into the storm. Woo! Ah! Ooh, soaking wet. Getting salt water on the camera, I better... I'll see you later! We're back at the dock. I got, I pulled my boat out of the water, got her cleaned off. It's pitch dark outside. Washed all my rods off. Then we got our mutton right here. Boom, baby! Dan took the other one home so he can film his catch and cook. And uh, I got some yellowtail in here too. What I'm actually gonna do, we're gonna cook this fish in a different state. And not just a close state to Florida like Georgia or something. We're going to Utah. Utah, baby! Gonna meet up with my dad, my aunt, my uncle, my cousins. Having a big family Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna bring this fish. But it's a little too dark out here right now for me to film the filleting part. No content value there, it's too dark. So I'm gonna flay him up, get him bagged up, and then tomorrow morning I got a flight to Utah. And honestly, I think the next time that you guys see me, I'm gonna be in Utah, which is a crazy thought to me because that's so far from here. And all I have to do is snap my fingers and I'll be there. Hold, hold on, my fingers are slippery. Uh, let me clean them. I wiped my fingers off. <sighs> now they're ready for the snap and I'm gonna be in Utah. Magic baby, bam! And I am in Utah. Come check out the view for my room. <sighs> Not a bad scene to wake up to. Mountains, cold air, and look at my suitcase. Got my dry bag full of frozen fish. Let's see if it's still frozen. Oh yeah, it's, it's rock hard. So if you guys ever wanna travel, freeze your fish, then I wrapped it into a, a blanket, and then I put it in a dry bag. We're gonna be eating that later. Yeah, everything. That's a whole mutton head. Oh my God. Swordfish. Yellowtail. There's our mutton snapper head. Look at that. Pretty good looking. Collarbones, all that meat in there. Meat in the head. We're gonna dump it in this freaking bowl. We got some water boiling in there with salt and pepper. And we're just gonna low simmer it for like 45 minutes or something. Make a fish broth, a fish stock. And then we're gonna make a little fish soup. Oh yeah. Got it boiling. Woo! We're gonna go to the hot tub for a second while that boils. We, are we rolling? We're rolling. We've had the mutton snapper boiling in this pot over here for like what, 45 minutes? Mm. Something like that. We also added the red, white, and blue seasoning. Sweet heat, garlic and onion, reaper. We're gonna strain all the bones out of there in this pot here. And then we're gonna put the broth back in there and then we're gonna add the fish fillets. Ooh, here. 
All right, let's fillet these. We don't have a fillet knife here in uh, good old Utah, but we do have this, which should work, right? It could be a little sharper, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, this knife needs to be sharpened, but it's gonna get the job done. Actually work pretty good. And that right there is a skinless fillet. Oh yeah. Bam! We got all our mutton snapper chopped up and we also got some African pompano that I brought. Got all sorts of food cubed up in there. And then here we got a pot with a strainer. I'm gonna do my best. Probably gonna make a mess. We're gonna strain all this juice into that pot. This is going better than I could have ever imagined. Amazing. It actually works really good. Bingo, bango. That would be good for the compost bin. <laughs> That's some good broth. After straining out all the bones and fish scales and stuff, we're left with a really nice fish stock. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some onions and carrots, and then also some celery. And we're just going to put that into the bowl, put it into the fish stock, and just let it boil for four or five minutes while we get the fish ready. I love garlic. We got some garlic here. We're gonna take the garlic and we're gonna squeeze it in here. Put another garlic in there. Four garlics in at the same time. I'm pushing the boundaries of cooking limits. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yes, it is gonna work. Oh, look at all that coming out at once. That looks good. It's a masterpiece. Bam! It's the it's the final countdown. We got our broth and all our vegetables boiling nicely in there. Now we're gonna drop the fish in. Timber. Good amount of fish. Boil it maybe for another five minutes. 10 minutes max, and we're good to go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. um, rice is there. Mm -hmm. Got the bowl with the rice. The key is to put some rice in it first. The, the perfect scoop. Ooh oh, thank you. That looks perfect. It turned out better than expected. Still hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and that hits the spot. 